Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of This Just In. My name is Marco. Ciao Marco, grande Marco. Bravo, bravo. 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 I am here with Marco from Italian Pod. Hi, ciao everyone. Hola Marco from Italian Pod. And Leo from Spanish Pod. Hey, hello. <laughs> grande Leo di Spanish Pod. Grande Spanish. And all the pods again here in This Just In. So let's talk about the lessons. Okay, lessons. Told Which you. lessons do we have? Uh, all right, lesson numero uno. Next week, we have a lesson about asking for permission. All right, asking for permission like yeah. to your dad? Exactly. For or to the teacher? No, no, to your, for your dad. To your uh, boss? No, no. It's the like security guard? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's a girl asking for the car, actually. Uh, oh. yeah. Do you remember those times when you had to ask your dad or your mom for the car? No, because uh, in the country where I live, uh, um, you have to be 18 to drive a car. You didn't drive before you were 18? No. Marco, I didn't. <laughs> Come on, you got your on. license revoked once. Yeah, well, that's another <laughs> story. <laughs> yeah, but in the United States, you can drive legally when you're about 15 or 16. Yeah, I never got 16, that. You cannot drink until you're 21, but you can drive at 15. <laughs> it's crazy, you can get I your, love it. You can get your learner's permit at 15. Really? Yeah, in some states. So you're going to talk about that too? Uh, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that in the oh, lesson as well. I started driving when I was 14. Viva Mexico! Then you were driving. You were driving trucks, big trucks, <laughs> on the way to the border. <laughs> that was anyway, racist. <laughs> All right, and we'll also have part three of New Guy in Town. Bravo! Bravo! I am here with Marco from Italian Pod. Hi, ciao everyone. Hola, Marco from Italian Pod. And Leo from Spanish Pod. Hey, hello. <laughs> Grande Leo di Spanish. Never Grande heard you Spanish. Spanish. And no, all the pods no, again no, here in this just in. Knows so knows let's talk about the lessons. For users who don't okay, know about lessons. Which lessons, 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 lessons do we have? <laughs> all right, lesson wow. numero uno. Kind of, it's kind of scary. Next week we have a lesson about really asking for permission. Yeah. All right, Bookies. asking for permission. There's a lot of screeching like, doors, right? Exactly. Yeah, or to the teacher. No, no, to your, for your dad. Yeah. To your uh, boss? No, no, no. Like, security guard. Well, it's a girl asking for the car, actually. How do you say? Do you remember those times when you had to ask your dad or your mom for the car? No, because in the country where I live, you have to be able to drive for him. I you didn't drive about, before like, you were 18? No, it was not Marco, spicy. Come on, you got your license revoked. Spicy, you have to yeah, know well, that's another story. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll, I'll yeah, but like in the United West States, West you, can West West you can drive West legally West when you're about 15 or 16. Yeah, you yeah, never got that. 16. You cannot drink until you're 21, but you can drive. It's really interesting, and it's one of my favorite subjects. You can get your learner's permit at 15. Really? Yeah, in some states. So you're going to talk about that too? Is it bargaining? Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that in the lesson as well. I started driving when I was Fourteen. Viva Mexico! Ask for a better price. And you know, it's really yeah, you are driving. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. You are driving trucks, big trucks, <laughs> on the way to the border. Oh well, yeah, actually, we do use that. Anyway, all right, and we'll also have part three of New Guy. Italy too. You have to bargain, right? Especially if you're a tourist. I guess everywhere markets where you have markets. Yeah. So. Those are the three lessons coming out next week. They're really good. Be sure to come and listen. I'll come and listen. All right, you better. I want to know what this vampire is about. It's really good. What else do we have? And our user of the week. User of the week! Yeah! <laughs> our user of the week for this week is Wolfgang700. Yeah! Wolfgang. Is, is it a he or a she? It's a he, and I think he's from Germany. So. Wolfgang. Yeah, it sounds pretty German. Some, yeah. He's so a, congratulations, Wolfgang. Yeah. He, Why did he become user of the week? Well, he started commenting a lot on the site, asking some really good questions. His English is pretty good as well, so he's really helped out a lot. Bravo. Bravo, Gracias. Wolfgang. Bravo, Wolfgang. Yeah. Very good. Not and all our, all our other users, keep up the good work. Everyone is commenting a lot. Oh, Maxim. Maxim is doing Max. the transcript. Bravo. Bravo, because Bravo so, Maxim. Maxim really kept up, kept up to his... Um, his Award. promise, yeah, yeah, yeah. So next week, definitely he'll be doing it for all three lessons, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> now he's stuck. Now he's stuck. He's he gonna have to go do back. it. He said the standards. He just he can just go up and up and up. <laughs> all right. And then so. he'll become an employee of English Plus. Yeah, exactly. After one year of slavery. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. 
<laughs> All right. Now for some updates. We have some really interesting news about our new website. Right. What happened to that uh, new website? All right. Well, we had a little bit of difficulty. So actually, we have a recording of what happened to the website. <gasps> Let's listen to it. I want right. to hear that. Hey, is the new website ready? Yeah, come over here and check this out. So what new features does it have? Wow, a lot of great stuff. Like, for example... Wait, this is weird. Web page isn't opening. What's going on? Click on it again. I want to see it. It says fatal error. Wrong! No! That's incredible. Oh, no. Incredible. <laughs> it exploded. Yeah, and uh, two of our programmers, our tech guys, uh, didn't make it. Yeah, uh, it's so a sad moment in podcast sad history. Moment. Actually, I think we should dedicate this podcast to the memory of uh, Little Jade and uh, Southern Cloud, <laughs> which are the two engineers, Southern Clouds of the IT skies. Yeah. Uh, are the two engineers, uh, IT tech guys. So, should we do it like died a, in the fire? A second of silence? Yeah, a second of silence. Second because of we, silence. we can't do a whole okay. minute in a podcast, right? Okay, okay, we're back. Right, okay. All right. Bravo, bravo. No, but seriously, wow, we have to delay the launch of the new site because it wasn't ready yet, and we want to give you a really good site that's going to have a lot of great features. So it'll be ready soon. Don't worry about it. We'll keep you updated. Exactly. Like, uh, you know, this data transfer, there's, it's complicated, guys. Believe me, it's complicated. Yeah, yeah. So, well, that's what the tech guys... <laughs> so, yes, we apologize for the mistake, but... Believe us, it's in your best interest because you didn't want to go on a website that could explode yeah, exactly. or just contaminate <laughs> yeah, like every computer in, in the world. In the world, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. It was like the English pod virus. You don't yeah. want that. <laughs> There's some good news, isn't it? There is some good news. Since we're not launching the website yet, the prices are going to stay the same. Yes! So that means that we're going to keep the same low prices until we launch the new website. And all the all family right. of Little Jade and Southern Clouds of the IT Skies, they have a free account and the whole families of uh, the victims can learn English for free. For free, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A minute of the silence for the families. <laughs> no, I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, that's the good news, guys. Don't worry. We'll keep you updated. We'll, we'll be... Ciao, podcast people. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of This Just In. I'm joined in the studio by... The Mysterious Man. <laughs> the Mysterious Man with the Italian accent. Oh, damn. Marco. No, I'm the Mysterious Man. <laughs> with the Mexican accent. There you A go. Mysterious Mexican so accent. So Leo and Marco from Italian pod. Hello, nice to be here. Nice to be here. All right, right. having me again. And uh, I am Marco, and Leo and I are back from our uh, small adventure. I survived. We, we didn't get eaten by uh, wild beasts that were guarding the temples of Anchor. But almost, almost. Almost. So it's great, guys, that you could come back here and solve all the problems that you had. Uh, and, uh, you know, like... The, yeah, the, the we newspapers had here talked a lot about your case, and uh, you know, it's, but, uh, you know, I was worried for a while. corruption always makes its way, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, but we're back and uh, no worries now. So we're gonna be doing our thing like we always do. Let's do our thing. What's our thing? Let's do our thing. Well, let's talk about the lessons that are coming up this week. Uh, oh, that's our thing. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, Marco Zero. <laughs> Well, we have a lot of sports lessons coming out, and this week we're going to be talking about hockey. Oh, great. Yeah. So The thing with the disc on the... Um, on ice? On ah. ice, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Is hockey not a big thing in Italy? Um, not really. Not really. We have another game where there is a ball and the, the, the people that have to throw the ball using their feet to a certain part of the field. You mean football? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> people go crazy for that. Yeah, go yeah. Chase this I've heard ball. about it. And then there's one guy dressed all in yellow or, or black and he gets angry he, all the time. 
<laughs> like he got cards and he's got cards. Uh, he's throwing around cards yeah. of different colors. And hockey is not really like that, right? No, no, no. Like it's the more you hit the people, the more the the referee is uh, happy. It's like, <laughs> yes, more, more. <laughs> I think See that's some blood. I think that's why I like hockey better than soccer because you know, like in soccer, they barely touch the other player and he's rolling on the floor and he's and like crying, crying. And yeah. hockey, like we're good at that. <laughs> that that's <laughs> why hockey is not that popular in Italy. Exactly. <laughs> ah, if you if you just dive, people are gonna go and fight more and beat you, beat the beat the beep out of you. Well, Italians do have a good reputation of being amazing actors on the soccer field. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and uh, all right, and for Wednesday's lesson, we're gonna be robbing a bank. Who who is who, you? Again? Uh, again? What? When did we uh, rob a bank? Are go we going to have to go to Cambodia again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mike, haven't you learned anything from what happened? Well, <laughs> this is just it's stupid. a positive lesson. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be... It's actually about planning a bank robbery, so you're going to see a lot of great words that you can use for planning an event, not necessarily robbing a bank. Oh. And also, like, it doesn't have to be violent. You know those people who rob bank with a mobile... They wow. hand the mobile to the guy and uh, there's another guy at the, at the end of uh, the line that says, please give this guy the money, otherwise they'll kill me. Uh, and they don't know if it's true or false. Uh, oh, so that's a good one. Yeah, a good you one. can write it in the expansion sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can quote me. On the <laughs> I can quote you. I'll put a footnote. <laughs> yeah, and a copyright. Copyright, all right. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be planning an event, planning a bank robbery, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Nice. And for Friday's lesson, we're going to have a malfunction of different things in the office. Oh, that sounds like that a, sounds based on a, a, based on a <laughs> true story. <laughs> <laughs> so the copier doesn't work or the telephone doesn't work. So The other day at the office, the, the photocopier machine, photocopy machine, is that the word? Please correct me, English.com. Uh, photocopier. The photocopier got crazy and started. Yeah, it started following me. <laughs> yeah, it started. <laughs> you know, it actually ate uh, Sui's hand. <laughs> like, if oh, was, is that why she doesn't have? Uh, she's got a hand covered. anymore. Yeah, she's <laughs> yeah, got her know. hand covered with something. I know it was terrible. She's in terrible pain. Really. Well, I heard that uh, the other day when they were recording... If only she could have listened to that lesson. I know. Well, I heard that Spanish Pod was recording a lesson and something happened with the microphones and Lil Liliana got electrocuted. No way. Yeah. No, that was JP who couldn't handle her anymore. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> <That's enough>. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I've been silent for too long. I'm <laughs> not going to take it anymore. <laughs> all right. So, well, we're going to see what happens with uh, all of these malfunctions. And I think we might have another great explosion in this one. Woohoo! Yeah. All right. So, explosion. A great lesson. We're going to be looking at some really fun stuff. And now let's talk about the user of the week. No, let's talk about me. I heard, I heard it's a very special person. <laughs> it is a special person. Uh, this from a very special place. From a very special place. From your heart. In your heart. In your heart. <laughs> it's all in my heart. <laughs> this week's user of the week is Vic Bug. Ba, 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 ba. But that's not ba, important. Ba, 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 ba. Where is he from? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> that is important to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, but he is from for? Mexico. Yeah, man. <laughs> Take that, all of you from other countries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do you know? Do you know Vic Bug? Oh yeah, yeah. We're together in school. You go way back. You go way back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Vic. We haven't had any Italian users so far that made it to the uh, user of the week. Well, we do have a couple of Italian users. So um, to quote a friend of ours, that's racist. <laughs> 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 no, no. We, uh, I'm sure that uh, our Italian users will make it to user of the week as well. Actually, it's been growing. We've been getting more and more people from it Italy. So Come on, guys, guys. Come you on, can, you need to make, make, make that it. little extra effort. Yeah, come on. Everybody's yeah, Mexican. Nothing wrong with that, but I mean, you know. It's like <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I don't know. I think maybe they're too busy, you know, drinking their coffees at different 
times of the day yes. or watching soccer <laughs> watching soccer <laughs> i'm sure they're not they're there trying to learn english on your englishpod.com web no they are there and uh we've been getting some really good comments as well so it's very very good so please eh? you know what i mean <laughs> next week eh? how about we make a special thing a for special a, little for effort a friend what about uh, an offer he cannot refuse <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that horse that you, <laughs> you have in your house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so great job, Big Bug. Uh, keep up the good work. He's been commenting a lot and uh, asking some really great questions, so keep it up. And also a very special thank you to, again, Maxim, who's been... Who's been transcribing all the lessons on, on the comment wow, section. Oh, that's really... Thank you so much. I think uh, I want just to say, I don't know if we can say it already, but uh, Maxim, uh, we are planning to create a new position because user of the week is something that changes. But we are planning to give a reward uh, uh, to Maxim as maybe ambassador of Englishness. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Englishness. <laughs> Englishfulness. We'll, uh, we'll have to work on the on the word, but yeah. Well, definitely. On the prize name. <laughs> on the pr yeah. And also, you know what? Of the English correctness. Uh, a great... <laughs> this is necessary. <laughs> You guys really need to come Special to... Special award for best supporting user on a website based on Colombo. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, we will have the, the pod award soon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll so we'll get people to vote. No Just no a myth. A myth. <laughs> it's yeah, an we're, urban it's legend. We've been expecting it for... Uh, it's on its way. It's on its way. But also, I wanted Chinese to... Chinese pod keep on, keep on me putting, uh, off, putting it off because they're afraid to lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down with Chinese pot. All right. I want to uh, also give a special thank you to Stevester, who's been really helping out people. Grande Steve Sir. Stevester, yeah. what are you doing English pot? Come back to Spanish pot. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a native English speaker, but he really helps out uh, all of our users when they are commenting and maybe they make a, some small grammar mistakes. Um, bravo, bravo. So he oh, yeah, he them. does that with me, too. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to Stevester. <laughs> <laughs> he corrects your English? Yeah. Uh, he should. But if But he just said I'm becoming a little bit better. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Thank you, Stevester. <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. Stevester is paying to correct your English. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But he's learning Spanish in exchange. Okay. But yeah. Leo's not paying anything. I think Leo should pay Stevester something. What do you think, Steve, sir? Let us know on EnglishPod.com. Send me a payment request. I'll, <laughs> I'll review it. I'll review it. <laughs> all right. So that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you guys next week. Come to EnglishPod.com. Leave your questions and comments. And also visit our sister sites at uh, ItalianPod.com, SpanishPod.com. Sister site. Well, uh, I, I take it more as a brother. Yeah, I think it's, it's more. Or, or maybe cows in it. Cows in that. A close cousin. <laughs> Not their always sister, but I don't understand it. So, yeah, if you want to learn Italian or Spanish. How about also. relative, general? Well, I think uh, we can go with... Uh, <laughs> Familiar. Neighbor. What are we neighbor. just... Neighbor. Just friends. What friends. about that? All right. Our friendly sites. It's, it's been a hell of a ride, but let's just be friends, okay? <laughs> Uh, I think we need to start seeing other people. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, that's all for today. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Spicy. Englishpod.com. Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of This Just In. I am joined, as always, with the dynamic duo. The experts of the situation. Hello everyone. All right, I'm joined with Marco from Italian Pod. Hi, I am Marco from Italian Pod. And just to let you know, I was chewing a gum, but for you guys out there, I sacrificed myself and I put it in a piece of paper. Okay, thank you Marco. And I am also with Leo from Spanish Pod. Who has sacrificed yourself? Hold on. <laughs> so he's that, taking that's out. That's disgusting. Come yeah, on. He's taking out his gum and putting in a piece of paper. Thank Come you, on, Leo. God. What, 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 what are we doing here today? Oh, by the way, do you know I want to finish this Marco 1, Marco 0 thing? All right, so what's So the, how are we going to finish it? Well, 
Either you're gonna change your name or I'm gonna change your name. Well, I thought you were gonna change you're your name. You're gonna change your name. I thought you were gonna be Elizabeth. Right, oh. but I thought that it must be. We're we gonna start with be, a fight again. Could be misleading. No, 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 no. I thought. I, uh, okay, the, the final solution is we both change our names. Okay. Yeah, that could sound. Uh, okay. That could be good. Do you have a name in mind or you want me to choose for you? How about I go by Mark? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how, I, how about I go by Noodles? <laughs> That's All right. Cool. Or Mark. Egg. Egg. No, egg. I, I like Noodles. Noodles. Okay, so Mark and Noodles. Hey. All righty. What's up? So, so how about you go by Naboo? Naboo, as in the planet from yeah. Star Wars? Well, you can spell it differently if you want. <laughs> All right, well, first let's take a look at some of the really, really important news that I have for everyone out there. Are they important? They're hey, really important. Like really important? Really important. Okay. Okay, the first thing is that you are going to be able to vote for what new show you want to listen on Nice! How are we gonna do that? Power to the people! Power to the people! Yeah, so. democracy! <laughs> uh. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so what? What? So where? Uh, where? How, uh, how? On the website, you're gonna have a link of uh, user voice where, where you go on the lesson page. When? <laughs> you can start voting Marco, now. Favore. I'm, sorry, I'm a curious, curious person. So you can go to our lesson page, and you're gonna find a link to user voice where you can go and you're going to vote for what show you want on English Pod. Oh, so that's what this user voice is for. Exactly. So click on user voice, go in there and vote. We have a lot of different uh, ideas. We can have a show about... Uh, Give us some, uh, uh, some preview of uh, what are the options. All right. What the options so are. some of the options are a show about English literature, Mm. That sounds Next. very interesting. <laughs> we have a show, a cultural show. It is, it is. Uh, a cultural show about, for example, uh, American culture, British culture, or many different uh, English speaking countries. Like Canadian, fish and, fish culture? And chips. Canadian, yeah, fish and chips, yeah, all that stuff. Irish? Mm. Exactly. And we also have a show about how to do things, the how to show. Oh, the how to show. Is, I, isn't that like a Discovery Channel show? Is it really? Uh, but I think that the, the cool thing is that you learn language and you learn a practical uh, skill. A, appliance of the language. Yeah. Can I say appliance, Marco? No, application. Thank you. You see? I've oh, already this learned. is so English, bud. <laughs> wow, I, I cannot stop learning with this. So we have a couple of different ideas. Even there's an idea for having kind of a, a lyrics show. Like a music show. Right, so we would play a clip of one of your favorite songs and we could... Maybe try and explain some of the difficult words or what that sentence means. Or, listen to this. Just had this idea, guys. Lyrics and every time we listen to the song and we have to sing it ourselves. Yeah, that could work as well. Like who ourselves? You. Like Leo. Do you want like me you, to sing? Yes. You, we are pick you a sure song. Do you want me to sing? And every time that we analyze the chorus, then you, you sing the chorus of the song. We can try it now with... Uh, uh, La Bamba. La Bamba. Para bailar la bamba. <laughs> bravo, 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 bravissimo. Nice, oh, nice, I, I nice. love this. Can we vote for the shows or we, we don't? Yeah, yeah, you can vote. Yeah? yeah? Or we can vote for who do they want to sing? Marco Uno, Marco Dos. I no. think we should all take, tres. take turns. Anyway, so everybody that, that is a user can vote. Everybody can vote. And so whichever show gets the highest amount of votes, we'll start doing it. You know, have I've always been thrilled about this uh, song, Thriller. Can you like sing Michael a bit Jackson's of thriller? thriller? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't understand why. Why? What? <laughs> what, what, what did you just I mean, say? there's like monsters in the video clip, isn't it? Yeah. Well, well, if you vote for the show and the show win, maybe we can we explain can to you maybe, all the stuff. Maybe we can create our own video and uh, a all of us A Thriller video? Thriller. <laughs> Huh? No, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Because <laughs> now the people are going to push for it. And we'll have to well, do it. Well, if they push for it, we'll oh. do it. No, don't push and Marco for it. will be heading it. Okay, just one thing, though. If you're voting, please do not go and click 1,000 times from the same computer. Because that's not fair. That's yeah, not, not nice, fair, yeah. right? So no, let's no, keep it legal. It has legal. to be fair. All yes. right. And another exciting news. Now you can add English Pod as a friend on Facebook. English Pod now has a page on Facebook. So oh. we're going to be posting uh, pictures, videos, and we're even going to be having contests and different news on Facebook. So in this way, you can interact more with us. 
What is the like? Is it true that the English pod on Facebook is uh, states as um, relationship status? It's complicated. What does that mean? <laughs> no, no, no. That does not exist. Can I, can I be like English pod and Leonardo? They are in a relationship. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the user of the month could get will, a relationship will be able to be in a relationship with unless English he's pod. already in a relationship with English pod for a month <laughs> how about that guys <laughs> well anyways I've posted also a link on the lesson page so you can follow it and become a fan of English pod it'll be really cool because we'll be posting different stuff and we'll have competitions and also you can meet other people so it'll be nice To the first 100 people who join the Facebook page of English Pod as a fan, we will throw in Marco Zero, a.k.a. Naboo's phone number. You can call him anytime and ask English-related questions or not only English-related questions. All right, all right. We can do that. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Okay. I'll just I'll give him the Leo's. first one. I'll give him Leo's number. <laughs> all right. The first one will have Marco as a slave for a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... So what about the lessons? Lessons coming out next week. We have a lesson about being in an airplane. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Great, like uh, on a cargo plane or... On a no, no, no. We're in a passenger plane, and you know how the captain always comes on and goes like... This oh, is, yeah. This is your captain speaking. Oh, I have a theory about that. Well, what's your theory? I have a theory that he's not saying anything at all because I nev I've never been able to figure out what he says. He says like 26 degrees, then he says cloudy, then he says he says like... Uh, Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai and good uh, good journey. It's like this. <laughs> and thank you for flying with uh, Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't give up. Cloudy, 27 degrees, <laughs> Shanghai. No, but that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's not like that. Uh, we're gonna do our uh, Shanghai uh, <laughs> yeah. 26 I mean, degrees yeah. uh, <laughs> rehearse a bit <laughs> you know how much I pay for this flight <laughs> oh yeah what a good service All right. well in this lesson we're gonna be able to now understand what the captain is really saying <laughs> oh I have to listen to this yeah, yeah. you should uh, uh, we have The lesson coming out on Wednesday is the first part of three of the job interview series. Uh, That's job useful. Interview. <laughs> <laughs> For uh, part of three. <laughs> wow, so you're going to explain how to be successful in a job interview? Exactly. Wow. In three so parts. You're not just learning English. You're no. learning how to get a job in this financial crisis time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So... Now we are going to be able to give you the tools for a successful job interview, which is really important. So you can dream about getting a job. Exactly. And uh, Friday's lesson, it's part four of the new guy in town. Is this one of the soap operas? Yeah, it's uh, kind of like... The vampire is, guy, right? Yeah, the vampire guy. But now <gasps> there's, it's a very, very different twist to the story, so you've got to listen. Because it's completely different. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> so what's so, oh. going to happen? And to finish off our show, the user of the week. All right. Where is he from? Oh. Is he Mexican again? No. Oh. It's uh, July from China. July! Congratulations! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is, it the, is it the user of the month of July? Okay, so the user of the week is July. She's been really active on the website. She's Grande July! July is the user of the month of March. <laughs> user of the week. <laughs> oh, is it the week? <laughs> <laughs> the users of the week. And, uh, well, she's, she actually works pretty hard from what I understand, and she tries to find time to listen to English pods. So she'll be off the site for a couple of days, but then she'll come back on and listen to all the lessons. And tack! And oh, tack! Tack! <laughs> <laughs> and she'll listen to the, to the lesson. So good job, July. Keep it up, and uh, we're really happy to have you. You want to say something in Chinese to July? I know, Marco, that you are starting to learn yeah, Chinese. Yeah, he's starting Chinese. <laughs> Come, Come on, on, Marco. <laughs> This is July's revenge. Come on, Marco. Come on. <laughs> oh, look at the fuck did I say? Why are you, why are you blushing? <laughs> Because I can't say anything in Chinese. <laughs> Come on. Yes, you can. Lesson one. All right. Uh, ni hao, July. Bravo, Marco. <laughs> User of the week on Chinese fun is Marco Mejia, a.k.a. Nabu. Bravo. You know what? They should have user of the week on Chinese. Pod. They don't? I don't think they do. They're boring. I'm always, no. No, no, no. I'm always there. I've never been chosen user of the week. 
<laughs> well, I'm maybe because you work here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe that has to. No, okay. You can be employee of the month if you want. All right, so that's all for today, guys. Be sure to go to our website. Be sure to go to User Voice, vote for the new show that's coming out, and Facebook. Facebook. Add us as friends on Facebook because we're going to have a competition on Facebook coming out this week. So That's soon. Yes. So no time to lose. No time to lose. So be sure to go to Facebook, come to our website, and uh, we'll see you guys there. I'm going to poke English pod now. Yeah, you can poke us on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the, enough with the poking. Let's have sex, English pod. <laughs> all right. So that's all for today. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later. Bye. Ciao. EnglishPod.com Introducing this just in <laughs> <laughs> directly from the cast of Slam Dog Millionaire <laughs> Gulam <laughs> Subhani. Yay! Thank you, thank you. Welcome, thank you. Gulam. Thank you, Leo. I love you too. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this just in. We are here, as uh, Marco mentioned, with Gulam Subhani. He is our customer it's, it's service. It's not Gulam, it's Gulam. Oh, okay, Gulam. Gulam. Yeah. Uh, he is our customer service representative. So if you ever Woo! have any doubts or any complaints, well, you can ask him. For people who, who don't know, he, he's not a robot. He's not an automatic uh, answering machine. He's uh, a living... And I am not in India. He's an idiot, basically. <laughs> I am not in India. But idiot. he's very much alive. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not in India, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely in Shanghai, for us. yes. He's, okay, he's from the cast, uh, as I said, of Slam Dog Millionaire. Can you tell us, like, your role in the movie? Uh, yeah, there's this one scene where a lot of people get killed. Uh, I was one of the people in the background. Who got killed or who killed the other people? No, I who got killed. Okay, like, so you were one of those... make believe You were one of those extras who just had two seconds. No, it, it was an important role, actually. It was the most important but, scene. But you were wow. dancing wow. at the yeah. end, right? Yeah, yeah, did you, yeah. Dance at the <laughs> you, saw, you saw the bunch of guys dancing. I was one of those All right. at the back. Okay, later, um, Gulam or Hulam... Um, Gulam. Yes. <laughs> he will, he will uh, sing for us the song of Slamdog Millionaire. Yeah. But Hope. But before that, Jai Marco hope. has some important news for us. All right. Well, okay. Getting a little bit serious. Uh, we do have oh. some really important Sorry. news. Sorry. <laughs> well, oh, well. Are I you saying that Gulam is not important? No, no. What? He's very important. It's Gulam, by the way. It's Gulam. Why, why do I get dragged in everything? Shut up. What? <laughs> that is so racist. <laughs> I object. <laughs> All right. So. Well, first of all, we have upcoming lessons. Uh, let's take a look at what's coming up. Swim faster. Swim faster. All right, so a girl is swimming in the ocean and... What is she wearing? A bikini. Okay. That is inappropriate. I was just asking, like... <laughs> Why? W would it be different if she was, like, wearing a pyjama swim? Uh, it's not Would nice. you listen to it if uh, she was wearing her pyjamas? You know yeah. that we are no. doing audio po audio podcast. Oh, okay. You know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. If a customer asks you, you say we're doing audio podcasts, yes. right? No, I say we are going to do videos soon. <laughs> <laughs> Gulam, do Indian girls use uh, bikinis when they go to the beach? No, no, no. It's, it's against our culture. We don't do that. What do you, what do you are use? Are you serious? Yes. But men do. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. What do you use? All right, most of the people don't really know how to swim. Like, I don't know how to swim. You don't know how to swim? Yeah, I'm too embarrassed to wear a swimsuit. Well, and... now, not only you can learn how to swim uh, thanks to the English part lesson, but you can also learn how to swim faster. Yes, faster. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So, it's going to be and, easy. And we'll, we'll teach you how to you swim. Can. Summer is coming up, so we'll, uh, we'll teach you. I All won't. Right. Yeah. I want a fully covered bathing suit. You'll have a bikini. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> next All lesson. Right. Next lesson, job interview part two. That's great. That's right. really good So, stuff. in this one, we're going to cover the basic aspect of describing your educational background. All right. All right. Can I say that I listened to a preview and it is disgusting? It can't be disgusting. It's, it's disgusting. a job interview. It's disgusting. How can it be that bad? Are you listen to it and then you tell me. <laughs> well, we did throw in a little uh, surprise in there, uh, so... 
but it's not disgusting. Hulam, I, I Hulam, did you go to customer service school in back in India? Can I have my coffee yeah. back? Well, don't sip. No, it well, on the uh, to be very honest, the thing is, Indian people are very nice and sweet and very yes. honest yes. and very helpful. Uh-huh. That's why we are good at customer service. Uh, okay. a, a big round of applause oh, for oh, India. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Helping the world every day. Yes, yes. Phone call. God. One man cannot change the world. One man at a time. Changing the world. But, man. but one man can make a difference. Okay. Bravo, Gulam. Bravo. Bravo. No, Bravo. No, Thank no, you. No, no. That's Thank a you. quote of the week. That's the quote of the week. And We're the winner quote for and quote of one. the week is... Hulam! Yay! Thank you! It's not Hulam, it's Hulam. Oh, it's sorry. Hulam, it's not Hulam. Well, the price goes to the other one, it's too late. No. <laughs> All right, next <laughs> lesson. We, the person, the listener who can send us an audio clip pronouncing Gulam's name appropriately will win a prize. No, I find that racist. It's a bikini. <laughs> it's a bikini. <laughs> we'll mail them a Marco action Designed figure. Designed by Gulam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the last lesson of the week, uh, we're going to be looking at a receptionist and how to properly greet and handle any person that comes into an office. Yeah, yeah. So that's about, customer about service, that, right? About that. Customer service, yeah. Well, why do most companies have good-looking receptionists? Isn't that by us? Like, to learn new difficult vocabulary. <sighs> and in second place, we have idiomatic... Uh, fr- when he studied English. So. <laughs> no, no, there was there, but there was no cell phone. Right. Uh, yeah. So mobile. Mm, mobile. Mobile. All right. okay. mobile. So, and in third place and coming up short is the How To Show. That's the show with Marco, Marco, and Leo, where we teach you how to do things in English. Like, English? Like, vote for that one or I'm going to be fired. With you. <laughs> <laughs> nobody gets fired at the office. Bro. That's, nobody, nobody. That's, that's strange, different. actually. You're Italian, he's Mexican, and you're from Ecuador, and you guys are going to do... And you're from India. So, so, <laughs> that's racist. I find that very racist. <laughs> What's your point? What's your point? We are a multicultural language company. That's why we can teach how to do stuff. In many cultures and many languages. Ah. That's the beauty of office pod it's like diy office pod podcast is DIY that what you guys call it office pod we office are pod. working office pod yeah okay where Come you on. can see the blue skies and the rainbow we we are working off uh, that's painted on the fake sky shut Ball up paper <laughs> hulam <laughs> hulam so, and then I, I wanted to talk about this Facebook contest. You right. The Facebook page has an amazing, yeah, I, I an amazing amount of well. people, okay? Yeah, yeah. What, like what's you have going 400 on? fans. All right, Facebook, our Facebook profile page already has 400 friends, and we are running with a contest, a photo contest, where all you have to do is take a picture of what you have in your purse, wallet, bag, backpack, etc. What, what do I win? <laughs> you can win a six-month premium English pod subscription. Okay, uh, and uh, we will decide who the winner is uh, next Monday. This Monday. Monday. Coming up. Monday. Monday, Monday. yes. It's Monday. the last weekend, so hurry up. Exactly. So, so where is it? What? Oh, Monday, right? Monday. 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 <laughs> <laughs> when? When? Before Tuesday, after Sunday. Monday. Monday. Oh, Monday. Right. The first what? What day? Uh, Monday. I think right. it's Monday. Oh, okay. The first day of the week. Oh, wait. After a Sunday. Did you say that Sunday? I, no, that's Monday. Uh, no, Monday? What? <laughs> what are we talking about? Monday. <laughs> okay. Monday. <laughs> Jesus, Mulan, come on. Uh, no, I, I, lo- I lost you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, and we have a surprise. We'll also have another contest coming out after this photo contest. Woo! It's really good. Yeah, it's good because Leo get punched in the face. Leo, oh, what's it called? <laughs> What's it called? What's no, it called we're, again? We're, yes. We are keeping it secret, but we can tell you is that our users are going to be able to... No, no, no. I can tell you that I'm the star. All right. Okay, okay. And in this contest, we are allowing the users to give us some of the content that we'll actually use on the website. Oh, so you, you're going to steal their content. No, <laughs> no. no, no. So, 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 Marco, uh, you're just saying that you're out of ideas. That's what you're saying. No. no. <laughs> Gulan, you're supposed to present everything in the nicest way to the customers. Ladies Come and on. gentlemen, our customer <laughs> service uh, manager. Oh, down. are we on? Are we on? I, 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 thought, we were, uh, I thought we were just testing. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, so just so, Facebook. 
use your voice, be sure to do all these things. So, guys, hurry up with this uh, photo contest. And remember, you just have this weekend because Monday we're going to choose the winner. So, if you or your friends uh, want to have a six months free subscription to English Pod, just uh, upload your picture of what's in your bag. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm What? a bit confused. I'm a bit confused. Like, it's gonna be oh. a bit dark inside the bag. So, you want them to take the stuff out of their bag, put it on a table, and then take the picture? There's you know, something, people, there's people. There's something called flash. Yeah, but still, camera. come on. Yeah, what's in your bag, Gulam? Uh, I, I don't like to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, okay. You're not my dad. Jesus, <laughs> Gulam. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not gonna win a free subscription with this attitude. Son. Yeah, good luck. All right, so if you guys have any questions, any comments, or if you have any complaints, please send it to Gulam, our customer <laughs> service representative. English pod at, no, support at EnglishPod.com, right? Support at EnglishPod.com. No, support at Praxis Language. Uh, support at Language. Uh, Praxis Language. Support. <laughs> Do you know where you work, Marco? <laughs> Do you know how hard we work, Marco? Support. For once, you could just spell it out, Ryan. <laughs> All right. Support at PraxisLanguage.com. Thank you. He'll be more than happy. <laughs> Happy to uh, answer your emails and uh, yeah, make sure you address them to Leo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leo's not laughing. <laughs> All right, so we're out of here. Uh, Gulam has to show us some dance steps, uh, and we're gonna say goodbye with the song that won the best soundtrack in the Academy Awards, Jai Ho. All right, here Bye we go, Jai Ho. I, I didn't get paid for this. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> not gonna happen this time. Okay, no. wait. What, what does Jai Ho mean? Jai Ho means hooray. Uh, like hooray, yeah. Like you All say right. hooray, hip hip hooray, something like that. All right. So how would you pronounce it? J A I. No, no, like no, 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 how pronounce it, not spell it. How do you say Jai it? Jai Ho. Again? Jai Ho. Bye. Bye bye. All right, bye bye. Ciao. Not bad, not bad. Jai Ho. 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 That is so racist. You're not my dad. Racist. Racist. Oh, that, that's a disgrace. That's racist. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming to you straight from Brisbane, Australia, the place where we have the Gold Coast. The Great Barrier Reef and evil stingrays that kill our movie stars. This Justin. Hello. Bravo! Yeah. Bravo! Michael, right. can you translate what he just what, said? What was that? Uh, he's uh, he's actually speaking English from Australia. Oh, oh. The, he's the Australian dude. Hi, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Australian. <laughs> Australian. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Matt from Chinese Pod. Yes, Matt from Chinese Pod is here with us today, and oh, of course, I am here with Leo. Hello. And Marco, also known as Nabu. Ciao, ragazzi. Uh, I'm I'm Noodles. You're Nabu. Uh, I'm you Nabu. You are. You, uh, you're Noodles. You just don't right. get it. I, I keep forgetting uh. it. And uh, welcome to another edition with us. Uh, we are here, as we mentioned, with Matt. He is our Chinese Pod product manager. 大家好 Oh, it's English Pod. <laughs> Good night. Anyway, nobody's understanding yeah. anything. Anyway, so yeah, just, any language is big. Why don't you just nod for the rest of the episode? <laughs> <laughs> Good, up <laughs> yours. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be talking about well the usual stuff, but we're also going to be naming our user of the week. I know many wait, people wait. were angry last and, and, week. And what's the prize for this user of the week? Um, A free massage from Leo. Pride, and pride, respect from from our community. Yes, yeah, awesome. See, our community is very selective. And you get to be mentioned in this just thing. Exactly. I want, I want to say uh, that is some serious streak. I, I want to say uh, two things before we nominate the next user of the week because, as you said, there was a lot of. Uh, How can we call it? Like a lot of movement about an animated discussion <laughs> on the website. Why you didn't pick a user of the week? You forgot. We did not forget. Right. Okay. And as we pointed out, I did forget. You <laughs> forgot. To shut up. Just say you did. <laughs> <laughs> as we pointed out many times, user of the week is something that you have to earn. And let's face it, guys. Last week uh, you just weren't there. Nobody <laughs> yeah. earned it. No. 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 You're Man, good. That's 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 that's. that's 
<laughs> oh. Oh. No, 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 no. It, it's no, okay that, because in Australia that doesn't mean the same thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Normal English. I, I, I must say that that is not true. Um, you guys were using the typical Australian excuse for being lazy. No, no. Okay, you now blamed it on someone whoa, else. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Would you? Ha- who would you have chosen? I would have chosen Julie exactly. 77. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What? Julie 77. She is the best. You mean July? No, Julie. We I call her July. Okay. Well, oh, no, we, we have a July who was user of the week. Yeah, yeah, she was user of the week. But not a ago. Julie. Do we have a Julie? No. Yeah, no, there's a Julie, a Julie 77. Can you check? check a it. Julie who parked a 76 Ford wide. <laughs> can, <laughs> can you please come and claim your car? <laughs> you are blocking the exit. So, Thank but you. this week we are proud and happy to say that we have a user of the week, right? right? And not just any user of the week, a very special one because she mm. is. From Mexico. Again? Again! Oh, Mexico Mexico the girl in the world, that. yeah! <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Why? It's just because it's, it's a girl and, it's from, and she's from Mexico that she got it? She's very pretty. Well, we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's politically incorrect. Her physical why? English why? is why? very good. Wait, well, look, why don't you pick an Australian? Because <laughs> you just said we don't speak English, so we are also. Um, well, we actually do have an Australian. But you guys think you speak English. Yeah. Uh, uh, See, we can't convince you otherwise. Actually, no. I, I, I have to say that I, I kind of like more the Australian accent than the American accent. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's, uh, it's true that it's oh. harder to understand, but I think it has more personality. I believe so, too. I, I mean, in fact, I prefer Marco's Italian. Oh, this is coming accent. from an Italian, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a personal <laughs> opinion. I gotta say that I prefer Italian from Italy, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> okay, so as we said, si cuevas... C. Cuevas is the user of the week. Yay for Cuevas! But we also want to give a special mention to someone else. A new title that would be like what? Viceroy of the last three days. The vice president. The, new, <laughs> the prime minister of the two weeks. The <laughs> what, if, what, what should it be? Uh, we'll just name him as... Um, special mention award. Yeah, honorable mention. Honorable mention to... G G underscore two uh, K I M O. Well, it's it's oh, it's it's the it's guy him. with the it's motorcycle on the, his avatar. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the guy who wrote down the whole transcript of the late, the last, uh, the previous to this one. That was amazing. News and feature show. Because we were yelling, we were talking over each Gulam. other. Gulam, Gulam was, was here. here. Oh. So yeah, special mention to him. Thank you very much for that transcript. Um, that's actually the first time anyone has. Uh, Done the entire transcript of a so new show. He he's now in the Guinness uh, record. Uh, I think so. Book probably the longest. Cheers for the guy with the motorcycle. Yeah. Bravo! Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> And uh, Cuevas as well. Thank you very much. Thank She you, has Cuevas. Been uh, really active in the community. Felicidades. Eso. Okay, so she's learning English. Now you're well, making her go back. <laughs> no, it's just to a uh, real language. Uh, it's a relate, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh come uh, on, man! You know some Spanish as well. What do you know? <laughs> Leo, you've only been teaching him <laughs> bad words. Oh, I know. Hola. Hey, Hola. there hey, you go. Como está? Is that only bad words? Hey, como estás? Como estás? Como estás, amigos? <laughs> como estás or buenos días, man? You cannot uh, say como estás. <laughs> <laughs> You're so ADD. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, you guys. All right. Stop it. Come so on. moving on. Moving on. Moving on. All right. Next That. week's lessons. Next week's lessons. Part six of... I'm sorry, I love you. Wow. No, uh, what stage are we now? I can't the wait mistake. for that one. We are at the state where they are going to the doctor because remember she said she might be pregnant. So now they're going to the doctor and see if she's effectively pregnant or not. <laughs> Matt is Why are you laughing, laughing at Matt? On the floor. I just guessed that the, na- the, 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 the subject of the lesson was the mistake. And it turns <laughs> out that they're actually going to the doctor to find out whether or not they made a mistake. What, how do you say it in... Uh, there's a slang word in Australia for when a girl is pregnant. She got knocked up. No, no, that's typical. <laughs> she's got a bun in the oven. No, no, another one. She made a mistake. She wasn't careful. Right? Knocked over, maybe. Or knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's uh, Monday's lesson. Wednesday, we're coming out with the last part of the job interview series. So for those of you who are applying for jobs in English, now you have the tools. Part three, we're going to be asking the typical questions. Why should you get this job? Matt, why should you get this job? Why did, what did you, what did you get answer? this job? Because I rock. Yeah. I'm the best. What? You, what do you answer when you somebody says... You might want says, to listen to this podcast to improve your replies <laughs> and your answers to, to the 
job interviews question. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would, I would say, I'd say I would say, if you're looking for a job, do your research first. Well, no, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, that's no. part one. Can we just say that part Matt three is, Matt, is part three is like Matt, the typical question. Concentrate, Matt. No, but Matt is on the other side. He's now doing a lot of interviews. Ah, that's right. I'm and actually conducting interviews. Yeah. Uh, what questions do you ask? Many, many questions. Too many to list here. Do you ask any weird ones? Yeah. What's your best question? Best yeah. question? The question um, you're most proud of. Apart from what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> that's a brilliant movement. <laughs> so tell me about our company. Ah, that's a good one. Do you have any hobbies? What color underwear are you wearing today? No. Uh, enough, enough, <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're going to scare people away. They're not going to want to come hey, edit work that for video. us. That was terrible. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't. We, oh. can, we can't edit. It's can. No, it's live. It's that's <laughs> Is that live? That's a lot of all right, so part three of the job interview. And then our last one for Friday is at the office, calling the office. How to deal with an automated answering service? No, or? no, no. It's like when you want to call your office and you tell them that you can't go to work or oh, that Excuses maybe, for being sick yeah, or whatnot. something like oh, that. You know all about that. You were off yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> what was based your, on a real what, what situation? What was your reason? Or should I say excuse? I, uh, I was feeling a little bit ill. Okay. You were kind of. Yes. Well, we're going to be uh, looking at yeah some words that you can tell your boss or your supervisor, telling them that you won't be able to make it to the office. What level is this lesson? Elementary. Elementary. All right. So those are our three lessons for next week. They're going to be pretty good. So be sure to listen to them. And and now let's talk about this contest because uh, last uh, contest about the, the picture. Right. We had a as a you all Facebook know Facebook contest about the. What's in your bag? What's in your bag, right. And we chose actually two people. We chose uh, an honorable mention as well of uh, what's in your bag. So that was good. We had. Uh, you don't remember the names of the winners, do you? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Marco. Okay, so first place went to Gustavo from Brazil. He actually used to listen to English Pod before, but now he's got a six month premium free subscription thanks to sending in his pictures of the photo So contest. what did he have? And like he had a notebook <laughs> of Prince Charles. <laughs> you should have seen it. It's beautiful. It's though. beautiful. It's it contemporary amazing. art. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was Prince Charles sticked on uh, like the British, the Union Jack, the flag on the, on the notebook. Yeah, it was brilliant. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. And the second place? And then second place went to a user from Russia who had, well, actually, we chose him as an honorable mention because his keychain was actually a paperclip. Yeah. That, that is rush, Russian paper ingenuity. Yeah, like a paper My code. personal favorite was the one who, like, uh, the, the picture of what's in your bag was him standing next to a car <laughs> in a parking lot. That, that was beautiful. That, that's that's a much, huge uh, bag. Yeah. That's a big bag. Yeah, yeah we, didn't, we didn't really <laughs> specify the dimensions. So the new contest, go to Facebook. Uh, we have over 530 friends already, so become part of our friends. And we're uploading extra content that you can't find on the website. Marco, why haven't you accepted my friend request? Uh, we are being very selective. We are not just <laughs> accepting anyone for English Pod. It's only 500 people so far who made it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. They want to close everything at 700. Yeah. Like we're going to keep it like a We're going to keep it. So yeah. hurry up and come in. It's going to be a special club. So the new contest is actually, you're going to be able to see Leo in a video who gets punched. And you have to tell in us why. Face. By Jason with a like black With a black helmet. Helmet. Yes. helmet. Yes. He looks pretty scary. Yeah, have you, you seen did. the video, Matt? Yes, I have. I was part of the filming. What, what's your... No, you weren't. No, no, yes, were. I, was, I was holding the lights for you. <laughs> no, you weren't. Don't you remember? <laughs> no, I don't remember. So send us your creative dialogue of what you think happens in this video and why Leo is being punched out. I don't think it would be the first time, right? No, not really. I don't think there's <laughs> only one possible uh, solution. No, no, there are many solutions. Because, I mean, Leo, Leo, Leo hasn't learned to look at uh, women's wedding fingers to see if there's a ring there or not. And I'm sure there's a lot of angry husbands out there who are chasing him down. Yeah, like Matt. The other day, we we're, were having a beer with his wife. With his wife. With Matt's wife. <laughs> you don't yeah. talk about my wife, fellas. Keep you don't talk it. about my wife. You don't talk about my wife. <laughs> and you know, these Australians are pretty rude. Like, he didn't come and talk to me. Like, why are you doing? No, directly to the face. Pam. <laughs> Deck. But now they're best friends forever. Punch first, talk later. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good philosophy. All right, I would like to leave one last little treasure for the users. Try and translate this into standard British English. How's it going, mate? All right. All right. Can you do it again? How's it going, mate? 
Thank you very much for joining us, Matt. And thank the Australian you. Dude. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. <laughs> and, and I'll uh, see you later. All right. We'll see everyone later. Bye. Yeah. Catch you soon. Bye. Ciao. Englishpod.com. <laughs>
Well, English Pod is unique. There's nothing else like English Pod out there、uh, because what you can do is you can download lessons onto your iPod. You can listen as you like. You can listen as you're jogging, listen as you're walking, as you're working, or sitting on the bus. You can download them onto your cell phone or your iPod. And when you have time, then you can go to EnglishPod.com. You can talk with people and and interact in the community with teachers and other. Learners, so you can do many, many, many things with English Pod that no other service can bring you. So it is very special. Okay, well, we'll be here every day to help you with your English, and don't forget to stop by the website and leave your questions and your comments, and we'll always get back to you. That's right. On EnglishPod.com,、uh, Amira and Marco will be here every day. Erica will be here every day. I'll try to be here every day. There will be lots of people there. So go to EnglishPod.com, ask your questions, meet new friends, and let's learn English together. So stay tuned for some great lessons from EnglishPod.com, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hello, English learners. Welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco, and I'm Erica. And today we're going to be bringing you a very useful lesson about being sick. Yeah. Um, we're going to learn、um, how to tell your boss that you can't go to work because you're sick. Exactly. This is really important because we all get sick, and sometimes you just can't go to work. Yes. Or maybe sometimes you just don't want to、you、go to exactly. work. Exactly. Maybe、yeah. you're lying. Yeah. But we're going to be teaching you how to do it anyway. So before we start with our dialogue, let's take a look at vocabulary preview. Vocabulary preview. In this vocabulary preview, we have two words for you.、Uh, the first one is quite ill. Quite ill. Quite ill. So quite ill. Very sick. Very sick. Quite、mm-hmm. is a synonym of very. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Ill. Sick. Sick. Yep. So they both mean the same thing. No difference. No difference at all. I just think、uh, ill is more common in British English.、Mm, exactly. All right. Let's take a look at our second word. Flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. So the flu is a virus. Yeah, it's a sickness. Okay, and、mm-hmm. uh, it's very similar to a cold. Yes, but just a lot worse. A lot worse. So it's stronger. Yeah, yeah.、Um, it's also called influenza. Influenza.、Uh-huh. Exactly. So the flu.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's listen to our dialogue. What's going to happen here today? Well, we're going to listen as Julie calls her boss to tell him she's sick. All right, but is she really sick? I don't know. Let's find out. Hello, Daniel speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Daniel. Julie here. <coughs> oh, hi, Julie. How are you? Actually, I'm feeling quite ill today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong? I think I'm coming down with the flu. I have a headache,、uh, a sore throat, <clears throat> a runny nose, and I'm feeling slightly feverish. I see. So you're calling in sick. Yes. I was hoping to take the day off、uh, to recover. Okay then. Try and get some rest. All right. So Julie didn't really seem to be sick, huh? Yeah, I, I don't know that that cough was just a little <laughs> too much. It seemed like she was acting. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at some of this vocabulary in language takeaway. Language takeaway. We have five words for you here, and these are all great words to describe a sickness, right?、Mm-hmm. All right. The first one: headache. 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 So when you have a headache, you have a sore head, right? Right, your head hurts.、Mm-hmm. So it's pretty simple. Yep, you have a headache. It's the way you feel after、um, being at the bar too late. Yeah, when you yeah. drink too much,、yeah. you get a headache. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at our next word: sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. So basically, we have two words here. Let's look at the first one: sore. Hurting. It hurts, right? Yep. And your throat is. Well, it, you know, it's the part right here, right, the back, 
Well, you can't see me. <laughs> well, it's the part、um, at the back of your mouth that goes down to your stomach. All right, that's your throat. Yeah. So you use your throat to swallow. Mm hmm. Okay. Now we can use the word sore with different body parts, right? Yeah. Like、um, a sore back. A sore back, right? Or maybe you were playing tennis all weekend, so you have a sore arm. Uh huh. Or even a sore neck. Right.、Mm-hmm. So the word sore. Let's take a look at our third word runny nose. Runny nose. Runny nose. Runny nose. This is a very strange word. I know. But it doesn't mean that your nose is running, right? No, but okay.、Um, it, No, but when you have a runny nose,、um, there's lots of water coming out of your nose, right? Right. So it's interesting, though, because when you run, you go fast, right? <laughs> so a lot of water is <laughs> coming fast out of your nose. Out of your nose. Runny nose. Yeah. Okay. Our fourth word today slightly feverish. Slightly feverish. Slightly feverish. Slightly feverish. So again, slightly is a little bit. A little bit,、mm-hmm. right? A little bit and feverish. Well, let's break this word down.、Um, we know fever, right?、Mm-hmm. Um, so when, when your body is very, very hot because、right. you're sick. So feverish is the feeling of your body being very, very hot.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so you have a high temperature. It's not that you have a high temperature, but you feel like you have a high temperature. Okay, so slightly feverish.、Mm-hmm. And our last word to recover. 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 So this means to get better, exactly. right? Exactly. Can you only use it when you're sick? So when you recover, you get better and you rest. So maybe you can say, Um, I was so busy this week. I need to recover this weekend. Okay, so yeah, if you feel tired,、yeah. or you feel sick, you can recover.、Mm-hmm. Okay, let's listen to our dialogue again, and we can listen to these words that we've just talked about. Hello, Daniel speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Daniel. Julie here. <coughs> oh, hi, Julie. How are you? Actually, I'm feeling quite ill today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong?、Uh, I think I'm coming down with the flu. I have a headache,、uh, a sore throat, <clears throat> a runny nose, and I'm feeling slightly feverish. I see. So you're calling in sick? Yes. I was hoping to take the day off、uh, to recover. Okay, then. Try and get some rest. In this dialogue, we listen to some really interesting phrases of how you can tell your boss that you are feeling sick, right? Yeah, some great phrases. So let's look at these in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. Okay, let's take a look at our first phrase on Fluency Builder. I'm coming down with. I'm coming down with. I'm coming down with. I'm coming down with. All right, so let's listen to some examples and then we'll come back and explain this interesting phrase. Example one. My throat really hurts. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Example two. You have a runny nose. Are you coming down with the flu? Example three. I don't feel well. I think I'm coming down with something. Okay, so basically, coming down with means starting to get sick.、Uh, I'm beginning to feel sick. Yes. Okay, so you can use it with I'm coming down with the flu. Uh huh. I'm coming down with a cold.、Mm-hmm. Or I'm coming down with a cough. Yeah, or I'm coming down with something. With something. You don't know what it is. Exactly. Okay, let's take a look at our second phrase calling in sick. Calling in sick. Okay, calling in sick. So, this phrase is great. You know, when you say, I'm calling in sick, you're、mm-hmm. saying, Hey, I'm not going to come to work today because I am sick. Okay. So, literally, it means that you call your office、yep. and you say you're not going to work. Yes.、Um, but it's great because it's three words that show such a long idea. Right. Because otherwise, you would have to say, I'm calling because I don't feel well, so I'm not going to go to work. Yes. But if you say, I'm calling in sick, everyone knows. Everyone understands. That you're not going to go to work. Yep. Okay, now let's take a look at our last phrase. 
Take the day off. Take the day off. Take the day off. Take the day off. Now this is a great phrase. To take the day off is to not go to work on that day. Yes. Now you can say take the week off.、Mm-hmm. Take the month off. Take the month off or、yeah. take the year off. <laughs> If you are so lucky. <laughs> All right. So take the day off means to not go to work on that day.、Mm-hmm. All right. Let's listen to our dialogue again now, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more. Hi, Daniel. Julie here. <coughs> oh, hi, Julie. How are you? Actually, I'm feeling quite ill today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong? I, I think I'm coming down with the flu. I have a headache,、uh, a sore throat, <coughs> a runny nose, and I'm feeling slightly feverish. I see. So you're calling in sick. Yes. I was hoping to take the day off、uh, to recover. Okay then, try and get some rest. Well, Marco,、um, have you ever done what Julie did? Did you ever call your boss to say you're sick to, when you're not really? Yeah, of course. I mean, sometimes you just don't feel very well. But you're not really sick. You just don't feel like going to work. Yes. Or sometimes you have something to do.、Mm, right. Yep. You know what we call those in Canada?、Um, we call them personal days. Personal days. Yeah. <laughs> so you say, "Oh, I'm going to take a personal day," meaning、oh. I'm going to call in sick, <laughs> but then go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> we used to do that a lot because, for example, soccer games are such a big deal. Oh yeah. And you know, sometimes you would have a, a soccer match between I don't know Brazil. And it would be maybe at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. So everyone would call in sick on that day. Yeah. So the boss at least could plan that he would have an empty office. Yeah. Or sometimes you would take half the day off.、Mm. So you would just go. You say, "Well, I'm not going to make it in the morning, but I'll come in, in the afternoon." So you would recover very、oh, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit sick, but I'm going to be better in the afternoon.、Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please come to our website. And if you have any calling in sick stories, please let us know. Yes, you can visit us at EnglishPod.com, and Marco and I are always there to answer your questions. All right, folks. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Hello, English learners, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. I'm Amira. Amira and I are here today with an interesting lesson about a hotel situation. Amira, why don't you give us a little bit more information? Well, the situation is taking place in a hotel, and someone is checking in and is obtaining an upgrade. An upgrade. Okay, that's an interesting word. Why don't we listen to the dialogue and then we'll come back and explain all this vocabulary. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? I'd like to check in, please. I have a reservation under the name Anthony Roberts. All right,、uh, Roberts. Oh, Mr. Roberts, we've been expecting you. And here is your key card to the presidential suite. But there must be some mistake. My reservation was for a standard room. Are you sure? Let me double check. Yeah, here. This is my confirmation number. You're right, Mr. Roberts. There seems to be a mix-up. Unfortunately, we're overbooked at the moment. So.、Uh, not to worry.、Uh, we're pleased to offer you a, a complimentary upgrade. Woohoo! Presidential suite, baby. Okay, everyone, that is nice, huh? Yeah, the guy is really excited that he's gonna get the presidential suite. Yes, there's some interesting phrases and vocabulary items here, and I know Marco, you want to talk about some of them. Right.、Um, the first one, and this is really useful for all of our listeners who travel a lot. This phrase will come in handy, and it is, "I have a reservation under the name." Under the name. Under the name. Under the name. 
So before we explain this phrase, let's listen to some examples on how it is used in other situations, and then we'll come back and give you more information. My secretary made a reservation under my name. I'm sorry, sir. I don't have a reservation under that name. Do you have a reservation under the name Smith? All right, some really good examples there on how we could use this phrase in other situations. But just in case, let me explain it real fast. Under the name means that when you go to the restaurant or a hotel and you tell them your name, they know that you are the person that they have been expecting, they have been waiting. Yes. Well, I have chosen another useful phrase for you. And it is mix up. Mix up. Mix up. Mix up. There seems to be a mix up. Before we talk about this phrase, let's listen to some examples of how it is used. There was a mix up at the airport, and my bags were sent to Antarctica. I'm sorry, sir. There's been a terrible mix-up. We've given you the wrong baby. Okay, that was useful and funny. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the baby situation. Oh my God, imagine that happening. Yeah, I know. Well, guys, so a mix-up is a confusion or a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Exactly, well put. All right, Marco, what do you have for us? Okay, the next word that we should take a look at is overbooked. 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 What does that mean? So if a hotel or a flight is overbooked, it means that they are full. They are more than full. Right, so they cannot accept any more people. Exactly. Okay, now uh, why is this phrase useful? Because it happens all the time. There are so many other situations where you can use this word or hear it from other native English speakers. Um, for example, a bus or a train can be overbooked. Exactly, that's really common. Okay, let's take a look at the last phrase for today, and that is complimentary upgrade. Complimentary upgrade. Complimentary upgrade. Complimentary upgrade. So this means that, for example, when uh, the hotel is overbooked and all of their standard rooms are full, they will give you a better room, a more expensive room, but free. Yes, because it was not your fault. Right. This also happens sometimes, if you're lucky, on airplane flights. Yes. So if you are in economy class and an airplane, but for some reason it's overbooked, they will move you to business class or first class for free. I have a similar story, but I'm not going to tell you about it now. For now, let's go and listen to the dialogue one more time. And when we come back, we'll talk some more. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? I'd like to check in, please. I have a reservation under the name Anthony Roberts. All right. Uh, Roberts. Oh, Mr. Roberts, we've been expecting you. And here is your key card to the presidential suite. But there must be some mistake. My reservation was for a standard room. Are you sure? Let me double check. Yeah, here. This is my confirmation number. You're right, Mr. Roberts. There seems to be a mix-up. Unfortunately, we're overbooked at the moment. So... Uh, not to worry. Uh, we're pleased to offer you a, a complimentary upgrade. Woohoo! Presidential suite, baby!
I love listening to this dialogue. It just, uh, it's just so nice to see that someone is enjoying his upgrade so much, huh? Yeah, especially since he was expecting just a really normal room and now he's gonna be treated like a king. So Marco, have you ever gotten a complimentary upgrade? Yes, yes I did. When I was traveling through India, I bought a normal seat in the train, but for some reason the, it was overbooked. So I talked to the um, station manager and I got a complimentary upgrade to first class. I had a similar experience as well. I was flying from Shanghai to Qatar and uh, I actually had an economy seat, but for some reason they just upgraded me and I was so happy. Oh really? Like yes. it wasn't overbooked? Uh, well, I'm not sure because normally the night flight is not that full, but they upgraded me for some reason and oh. I was so happy. It was an upgrade to first class. Wow, <laughs> that's really cool. Yes. I, I would prefer a first class upgrade on an airplane. Yeah, any day. Well, you know what really amazed me was like the, the food you get there. You know, you have a five course meal. Oh, really? Yes. And you get all the drinks you y can get, right? Exactly. Wow, that yeah, I would be really happy there. All right, everyone, we're out of time today, but be sure to listen tomorrow because we'll be back again with another great podcast. And also, don't forget to go to our website at EnglishPod.com and leave us all your questions and comments in our community forum. Yes, and we would also appreciate your suggestions. And um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. And Marco and I will be back tomorrow with another great lesson for you. But for now, it's bye. bye. Hello everyone and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. I'm Amira. Hey Amira, how are you today? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited about this uh, lesson that you have for us today. Yes, it's actually a very, very useful lesson. It's about someone asking his boss for an assistant. Oh, okay, an assistant. What's yes. an assistant? Well, it's someone who helps you with your work around the office. Okay. Great. So let's listen to this uh, dialogue and when we come back, we'll take a look at all the interesting and useful vocabulary that you'll find. Like I told you before, we just don't have the resources to hire you an assistant. I understand that, but the fact is we're understaffed. The timing is just not right. The economy's bad, and it's too risky to take on new staff. Yeah, I guess you're right. Here's an idea. What if we hire an intern? She would take some of the weight off my shoulders. She? Yeah, you know, a recent graduate. She could give me a hand with some of these projects, and we could keep our costs down. That sounds reasonable. Let me see what I can do. Tony, I'd like to introduce you to your new assistant. Okay, great. Let's meet her. Hi, I'm Adam. Oh, hi, uh, I'm Tony. And we're back. Tony, <laughs> he's surprised, huh? Yeah, he's, uh, I don't know why, though, he's surprised. I think we should talk about that a little bit later. Yes, for now, let's look at some interesting vocabulary and phrases here. Marco, I know you've chosen one for us. Yeah, the first one that I want to take a look at is resources. 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 And that means, in this text, basically money. Right. So the office doesn't have enough money. Okay. I've chosen another interesting word for you, and that's understaffed. 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 Now, understaffed means that they don't have enough people working there. They don't have enough workers. Right, they don't have enough employees. Perfect, okay. Um, the next one is timing is just not right. The timing is just not right. The timing is just not right. The timing is just not right. Okay, let's listen to how we can use this entire phrase in a different situation so then we can understand what it means. Let's listen. 
I was going to sell my house, but the timing is just not right. Honey, I think we should have a baby. The timing is just not right. Okay, great. I guess that makes it uh, clear. Yes, actually it's very obvious that it means that it's just not a good time. Right. Perfect. Yeah. I have another interesting phrase for you, which is weight off my shoulders. Weight off my shoulders. Weight off my shoulders. Weight off my shoulders. So to take weight off my shoulders is another way of saying to help me with my work or to take some of my work away from me. If you have a lot of things to do and I come and help you, that means that I took some of the weight off your shoulders. Yes. Let's look at the next uh, phrase that we have here, and it's give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Okay, now this is not literal. It's not that I'm going to give you somebody's hand, right? Let's listen to some examples, and then we can come back and explain what it means. Can you give me a hand with these boxes? Neil, I'll need you to give me a hand with the sales reports. Here, let me give you a hand with your suitcase. All right, give me a hand is another way of saying help or to help out. Exactly, to help out. Right. Perfect. Now, the last phrase we're going to look at here in this dialogue is keep our costs down. Keep our costs down. Keep our costs down. Keep our costs down. So to keep our costs down means to try and not spend so much money. Exactly. Many companies, for example, now uh, control how much printing you do. Yes. Right. To yes. keep the cost down of paper. Yes. Yeah, so, in other words, they do not want to have unnecessary spending. Perfect. Okay. I think it's time for us to listen to this dialogue one more time. But I want everyone to listen and see why Tony is surprised at the end when he meets his intern, when he meets his assistant. Like I told you before, we just don't have the resources to hire you an assistant. I understand that, but the fact is, we're understaffed. The timing is just not right. The economy's bad, and it's too risky to take on new staff. Yeah, I guess you're right. Here's an idea. What if we hire an intern? She would take some of the weight off my shoulders. She? Yeah, you know, a recent graduate. She could give me a hand with some of these projects, and we could keep our costs down. That sounds reasonable. Let me see what I can do. Tony, I'd like to introduce you to your new assistant. Okay, great. Let's meet her. Hi, I'm Adam. Oh, hi, uh, I'm Tony. Well, you know, Marco, I think that Tony was really surprised because he was kind of hoping to have a female intern. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he was expecting. Maybe this guy is a little bit sexist. He thought that an intern should be a girl, but instead he instead, was Instead he got Adam. <laughs> exactly, and it looks like Adam is really big and really tall because he's got that deep voice. Right. An intern, Marco, do you want to elaborate on that? Working at a company uh, with a very low salary or sometimes no salary at all, but what you're gaining is experience and you're um, learning a lot of things. Everyone who has um, been an intern or had an intern knows that sometimes um, they are not treated all that well. Sometimes they just serve coffee or, or they have to do paperwork. 
or so, like photocopying things. Exactly. And, yeah. But some internships are really, really cool, and some are really good experiences for uh, learning. Yes, definitely. Um, actually, I I know a friend of mine. She used to work as an intern in one of those really big companies, and she told me that she has gained so much experience doing that. Yeah, I mean, even if you don't get paid, the experience that you get is really good, and um, that just opens doors for maybe getting another job. Or sometimes the interns get hired by the company to stay because they do such a good job. Yeah, I think that's uh, mostly the case, huh? Yeah, that happened to me once. I started working as an intern, and uh, after three months, I was hired by the company. So it does happen. Believe so you me. did a good job. <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're out of time today. I hope that you enjoyed our lesson, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another really cool and really interesting lesson from EnglishPod. Don't forget to come to our website at EnglishPod.com, where you'll find some really great and interesting resources to help you learn and improve your English even more. Yes, you should definitely do that. <sighs> And Marco and I would love to receive your comments and suggestions that you can leave on our community forum. But for now, it's time for us to say bye. bye. Hello, English learners, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. I'm Amira. All right, Amira is here today, and she is going to tell us about the wonderful lesson she has prepared this time. Well, thank you, Marco. Well, today we have a very interesting lesson prepared for you. It's about someone cutting in line. Cutting in line, okay. Yeah, it happens all the time, and we all get very upset about it. But you know, it happens. Right, right. Well, I imagine that everyone is wondering what cutting in line is. Why don't we just listen to the dialogue one time, and then when we come back, Amira and I will gladly explain all the vocabulary in this dialogue. Let's listen. I can't believe it took us two hours to get here. The traffic in New York is unbelievable. Yeah, but just relax, honey. We're here and we're going on vacation. In a few hours, we'll be in Hawaii and you'll be on the golf course. Oh no! Look at that line. It must be a mile long. There's no way I'm waiting for another two hours. Honey, don't. Hey, man, the end of the line is over there. Yeah. No, seriously, I was here first, and you can't cut in line like this. Says who? I do. So sue me. All right, that's it. <clears throat> Whoa, I think there's punching. Yeah. yeah, I guess this guy was he's just a crazy, I don't know, impatient man, huh? Yes, yes, but we don't want to talk about this now. But for now, we will treat some of the vocabulary and very useful phrases in the dialogue. Great. So, Marco, do you want to start? Yes, let's take a look at our first word would be unbelievable. 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 Exactly. And just how you say it, it's something incredible, something amazing. Yeah, but I would like to point out that unbelievable was used here to describe the man's frustration. He's not happy about the traffic in New York. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, in the next part, the woman, she's trying to calm and relax her husband. And she says that they, um, they'll be in Hawaii in a few hours and um, you'll be on the golf course right so we'll be in Hawaii and you'll be on the golf course yes we'll be in Hawaii and you'll be on the golf course so this is a great way of talking about your physical location in the future right so for example Amira tomorrow where will you be Don't worry, Marco. I'll be in the office tomorrow. Perfect, right? That's where I need you to be. Yes. Okay. So All right. Well, I have another interesting phrase here for you. Must be a mile long. A mile long. A mile long. A mile long. 
Now, that's basically not a mile. It's not a kilometer long, but it's another way of saying that this line is really, really long. Right, it's just an exaggeration. Um, now, let's li take a look at there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Perfect. Let's uh, listen to some other examples on how uh, we use there's no way in a different situation, and then we can come back and talk about it a little bit more. There's no way I can have those reports finished today. The stadium is so crowded that there's no way we'll find a seat. Do you think Michael's going to buy that house? There's no way he has enough money to buy it. All right, everyone. So there's no way is another way of saying it is impossible. Exactly. There's no way you should miss this podcast, right? Yes. Well, I have another phrase for you as well. Cut in line. 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 So again, we have some really good examples on how you could use this phrase in different situations. Let's listen to the examples and then we can come back and talk about it some more. Excuse me, I'm really late. Can I cut in line, please? I hate it when people cut in line at the bank. It's so rude. I think it's okay when a pregnant woman cuts in line. All right, everyone. Cut in line. Right. So from the examples, we can understand that it means when you are standing in line somewhere and somebody gets in front of you. Right. I have another phrase for you here. Sue me. Sue me. Sue me. Sue me. Okay, now, sue me is not a nice phrase. <laughs> if you hear that, you know you're in trouble. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of rude, I guess, to say, sue me. Right. Well, it actually means, like, taking someone to court and asking for money because someone has harmed you, in a way. I think that we should listen to the dialogue one more time and try to figure out why he used that phrase and if he's really going to take him to court. I can't believe it took us two hours to get here. The traffic in New York is unbelievable. Yeah, but just relax, honey. We're here and we're going on vacation. In a few hours, we'll be in Hawaii and you'll be on the golf course. Oh, no, look at that line. It must be a mile long. There's no way I'm waiting for another two hours. Honey, don't. Hey, man, the end of the line is over there. Yeah. No, seriously, I was here first and you can't cut in line like this. Says who? I do. So sue me. All right, that's it. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Now, this guy, when he says, sue me, he's just being rude. I mean, he's just being uh, kind of... Impolite. Impolite and telling him, I don't care. Right, right? exactly. Do, like, like, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, today in the studio, we have a guest. Uh, her name is Sarah, and she's from England. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to be asking her a couple of questions and she'll be a frequent guest on our show so you can expect to hear from her a lot. Well, she didn't know that. <laughs> it's, it's a, yeah, it's a surprise. She knows now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah, uh, our topic today is about jumping the queue. Okay, Amira, wait. What is this uh, jump the queue? It's the same as cut in line, but in British English. Ah, okay. Yes, Q. 
queuing. Uh, it's very important in England. We're very proud of uh, our queues. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. So, so what would be the reaction of people if they like, you know, catch in line? I think we do take it very seriously. I'm laughing now, but it's it's quite, it's quite <laughs> serious. So you don't jump the queue. If people, you know, uh, jump in front of you, it's uh, you get a little tuts and sort of, oh, you know, shouldn't shouldn't be doing that. And, and we make it very obvious. And in the so you say it out loud. We we would, uh, you know perhaps say something and we have systems you know in london on the uh, on the metro um on, on the underground you have to stand on the, the escalators on the right and and queue and you can't jump in front you have to walk on the left and queue on the right and it's all wow. very serious there's there's rules and regulations <laughs> <laughs> is there like a queue handbook that well, you have to read in high school <laughs> and kind of take a test on perhaps there should be there should be yeah Wow. What about New York, Marco? Well, no, definitely, I guess this um, dialogue is similar to a reality of New York. If somebody gets in front of you or cuts the line, somebody's going to say something and probably end up in a fight if uh -oh. the guy is rude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, uh, Sarah, why don't you tell us, is there a line or a queue for almost everything in England? It seems like we do just like to form a queue, yeah. So, um, you know... Can you um, think of, like, some other examples of where you would... Normally you wouldn't queue, but you do? Oh, gosh. Um, things like in the supermarket, when you're trying to find some vegetables or something, I'd never push, I'd never sort of reach around or anything. I'd just oh, really? wait until that person had finished picking up their stuff and then, and then go in. So oh. it just to try and... So if like five people want to buy oranges but, at the supermarket, <laughs> then you have a little mini queue <laughs> maybe, of five people maybe a bit. Just, <laughs> waiting. There's no, there's no sort of just shoving through it to the front. You just don't do that. <laughs> so you don't stick your hand out and grab like a tomato. Well, if you or... do, again, you, you would make sure that that person knows. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm you know, just um, in a hurry or whatever. But yeah, it's just letting someone go before you is a courtesy. I think okay. it's quite important to us. All right. Right. Great well, stuff. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's a pleasure. Yeah, we'll have you back very soon. Oh. So, all right, we're out of time, but we'll be back tomorrow with another lesson. And be sure to visit our website. Don't forget that EnglishBot.com has many, many resources and uh, also a community of users and teachers that can uh, help you answer questions and uh, interact with you. Yes, and you should definitely leave your suggestions. But for now, I wish you all well. And bye. bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. How are you, Erica? Marco, I'm doing really well. How about you? I'm doing great. I'm really excited because today we're talking about travel. That's right. We're going to give you some real English to talk about travel. Exactly. English that you would use in everyday life, that you hear in movies and TV shows. English people actually use. Exactly. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this lesson for today? Okay, so today we are going to listen as a husband and wife get ready to go on a trip. All right, that sounds a little bit complicated. Uh-huh. Well, <laughs> let's look at our two preview words. Vocabulary preview. Okay, so the first word that we have is road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Okay, so road trips are really fun and interesting, right? Road trips are great. You get to get in a car with your family and drive on a vacation. Yeah, those are really fun, and they're really popular in North America. Really popular. I've been on a million road trips. <laughs> All right, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But now, let's take a look at our second word, and it's the cars packed. The cars packed. The car's packed. The car is packed. So when your car is packed, it means that... Everything you need is inside the car. All right, so your bags, your food, everything that you need for your trip. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, so those were our two preview words, and now we are ready to listen to the dialogue for the first time. Okay, this dialogue will be at normal speed. It will be fast, but don't worry if you don't understand everything. After 10 minutes, we promise you will understand everything in this lesson. So, 
So, are we all ready to go? Yep, I think so. The car's packed, we have munchies and music, and the map's in the car. Did you get the camera? Got it. Did you fill up the tank? Yep, it's all set. You're sure we're not forgetting anything? I'm sure. We've got all our bases covered. Well, let's get going then. I love road trips. Mm, do you think we can make a pit stop? But we've only been on the road for ten minutes. I know, but I forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. Well, she forgot to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I hate it when this happens. This happens to me on almost every road trip. <laughs> okay, great. So now it's time for our language takeaway. We have three words for our language takeaway today. Language takeaway. And the first word is munchies. 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 So munchies are? Snacks. Snacks, food. Food, chips. Chips, cookies. Chocolate bars. All that good stuff. I love munchies. <laughs> and they're really good when you're taking a road trip. Indeed. Okay, so let's take a look at our second language takeaway word for today. And it is fill up the tank. Fill up the tank. Fill up the tank. Fill up the tank. So this is to... Put gas in your car. Put gas in the gas tank. In the gas tank, exactly. All right, our last language takeaway today is... Pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop. Make a pit stop. It's a quick stop for you to get some gas, food, go to the bathroom. Yeah, a pit stop, a quick stop. Great, so now it's time for putting it together. Putting it together. Okay, so we have two great phrases for you today. Let's take a look at the first one. We've got all our bases covered. We've got all our bases covered. We've got all our bases covered. This is a really great phrase and it's really useful, right? Yeah, let's listen to a couple of examples. Example one. We've got all our bases covered in case the hurricane hits. Example two. Okay, I have my keys, wallet, and passport. Looks like I have all my bases covered. Okay, it's clear now, but you can use this in a lot of different situations, right? You can use this in many situations. If I'm at work, I could say, all right, we've got a really good marketing plan. We've got all our bases covered. Exactly, you have everything ready. You're all prepared. Perfect. All right. Now let's take a look at our second phrase, and it's let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get going. All right. So when you say let's get going, it just means... Let's start. Let's start. Let's go. Yep. Okay. But the interesting thing about this phrase is you can change it a little bit, and it means something different. Uh-huh. Let's listen to a couple of examples. Example one. I have the chicken, so let's get cooking. <laughs> Example two. This house is really scary. Let's get out of here. Example three. I have another meeting in 20 minutes, so let's get down to business. So let's get down to business, Marco. Let's get down to business. Let's listen to the dialogue one more time, but this time... It'll be a little bit slower, and you'll understand much better. So, are we all ready to go? Yep, I think so. The car's packed, we have munchies and music, and the map's in the car. Did you get the camera? Got it. Did you fill up the tank? Yep, it's all set. You're sure we're not forgetting anything? I'm sure. We've got all our bases covered. Well, let's get going then. I love road trips. Um, do you think we can make a pit stop? But we've only been on the road for 10 minutes. I know, but I forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. 
So that was a little more clear this time, wasn't it? Yeah, you can definitely understand better about what we've been talking about. Yep. Okay, so now it's time to look at Fluency Builder. Erica, why don't you explain what Fluency Builder is? In Fluency Builder, we give you some great, useful phrases to help you express your ideas clearly. Okay, great. So let's look at Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. All right, so we all know how to ask the question, are we ready to go? That's right. You can say, can we go now? Or you can say, are we ready to go? Exactly. But there's another way that we can say this, and we heard it in our dialogue. So let's listen. So are we all ready to go? So are we all ready to go? Wow, that sounds really good. It sounds a lot more fluent. Fluent, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so another simple phrase that we all know how to say is, it is ready. It is prepared. It is ready. Right. So these examples are fine. They're yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're correct English. No problem. But there's another way to say this that we heard in the dialogue, and it sounds a lot more fluent. Yep, it's all set. Yep, it's all set. It's all set. That sounds much better. Yes, and we're all set to listen to this dialogue for a third time, and this time it's going to be at its normal speed. So, are we all ready to go? Yep, I think so. The car's packed, we have munchies and music, and the map's in the car. Did you get the camera? Got it. Did you fill up the tank? Yep, it's all set. You're sure we're not forgetting anything? I'm sure. We've got all our bases covered. Well, let's get going then. I love road trips. Do you think we can make a pit stop? But we've only been on the road for 10 minutes. I know, but I forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. So, Erica, you said you've been on a million road trips. What was that all about? Where have you been? Okay, well, maybe not a million road trips, <laughs> but many road trips. Every summer, I used to go on a road trip with my family, and we would drive many, many hours, probably eight hours in one day, up to northern Canada. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, and then we would go camping, and we would sleep outside, and we would have a campfire at night. It was great. Ah, family road trip. Yeah, but maybe eight hours in a car is <laughs> a little too long. Well, yeah. Well, I've been on a different kind of road trip with some uh, buddies of mine, some friends. We would drive to Las Vegas. Really? Yeah. So that's really fun. A bunch of crazy guys in a car going to Las Vegas and then just having fun and talking about everything. So that's a much different experience than a family road trip. Maybe that sounds a little bit more fun. <laughs> yeah, eight hours in a car is not really that boring with all your friends. All right, folks, we're out of time for today, but be sure to visit our website at EnglishPod.com and leave all your questions and comments. Okay, well, thanks for listening and until next time, goodbye. Bye. English learners and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. Hey Erica, how are you today? Marco, I am doing really well and I'm really looking forward to today's lesson. Well, so am I because here at English Pod, we're giving you real English. Everyday English. Exactly. English that you hear in movies or in uh, TV shows. This is English people actually use. So Erica, what is our topic for today? Well, today we're talking about computer viruses. Perfect. So I think it's time for us to take a look at our preview. Vocabulary preview. Okay, today we've got two words to preview. The first word is virus. 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 So if your computer has a computer virus, 
it means your computer is sick, right? Actually, a computer virus is a program that is designed to harm or to damage your computer. Oh, I see. Okay, and well, thank you for being so technical. <laughs> That's the technical explanation. Okay, let's take a look at our second word for our preview today, and that would be froze. 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 So if your computer froze, it means that... Your computer stopped working. Your applications or your program stopped working and you just can't do anything. Your computer's broken. Okay, great. So let's listen to our dialogue. It's going to be a little bit fast, but... Don't worry if you don't understand everything. At the end of this podcast, you'll understand everything. Perfect. Let's listen. The stupid computer froze again. That's the third time today. Hey, Samuel, can you come take a look at my PC? It's acting up again. It must have a virus or something. Just give me a second. I'll be right up. I ran a virus scan on your computer, and it turns out that you have a lot of infected files. But I'm quite careful when I'm browsing the internet. I have no idea how I could have picked up a virus. Well, you have to make sure their antivirus software is updated regularly. Yours wasn't up to date. That's probably what was causing your problems. Okay, anything else? Yeah, try not to kick or hit the computer. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Well, I completely understand this guy. When my computer freezes, I kick it and punch it and do everything to it. Well, I hope you don't punch it too hard, Marco. <laughs> well, it's still working, so it's all right. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our language takeaway. Language takeaway. In today's language takeaway, we have two words. The first word for today is infected file. Infected file. Infected file. Infected file. And what is an infected file? An infected file is a file in your computer that has a virus in it. Ah, perfect. That's really clear. What is our second word for the language takeaway today? Our second word is not up to date. Not up to date. Not up to date. And what is it when something is not up to date? It means it doesn't have all the most recent information. Okay, perfect. Now let's listen to some examples. Example one. I need to buy a new computer because mine isn't up to date. Example two. I can't find the street. Are you sure this map is up to date? Example three. Sarah has just finished the reports and all the information is up to date. Okay, that was pretty clear. You know, you can also use this phrase Positively, you can say, up to date. Okay, for example, we can say, this is a new map. This is the most up to date map. Exactly, or if I bought a new computer, I could say, I just got a new computer. All my software is up to date. Okay, great. So now let's take a look at some phrases. And it's time for putting it all together. Putting it together. Okay, so Samuel said a really great phrase. He said, I'll be right up. I'll be right up. I'll be right up. I'll be right up. Now, we can use this phrase in a lot of different situations, so let's listen to some examples. Example one. Can you help me with my computer? I'll be right there. Example two. Come downstairs. Dinner is ready. I'll be right down. Example three. Hurry up! I need to use the bathroom! I'll be right out. 
Okay, really great and clear examples, right? Yeah, you know that phrase, I'll be right out. I used to hear this all the time when I was young. Really? How come? Well, I have two sisters and we were always fighting for the bathroom. So someone was always saying, just a minute, I'll be right out. Ah, uh-huh, yes, that's common. I had that too when I was young. Okay, now our second phrase is, it turns out that. It turns out that. It turns out that. It turns out that. This is a great phrase. You can use it in many different situations. Marco, can you give us an example? Sure. For example, I can say, Frank didn't come to work today, and it turns out that he was sick. Yep. Or I could say, oh, I've been feeling really sick recently. Why? It turns out that. I'm pregnant. Oh my god, are you really pregnant? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going, just kidding. <laughs> All right, cuz okay, so it's time for us to listen to our dialogue again, but this time it'll be a little bit slower. All right. Oh, great. This stupid computer froze again. That's the third time today. Hey, Samuel. Can you come take a look at my PC? It's acting up again. It must have a virus or something. Just give me a second. I'll be right up. I ran a virus scan on your computer, and it turns out that you have a lot of infected files. But I'm quite careful when I'm browsing the internet. I have no idea how I could have picked up a virus. Well, you have to make sure that your antivirus software is updated regularly. Yours wasn't up to date. That's probably what was causing your problems. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, try not to kick or hit the computer. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, that was a lot more clear this time. Definitely, yeah, I understood a lot more. Okay, so now it's time to look at Fluency Builder. Erica, why don't you explain what Fluency Builder is? In Fluency Builder, we give you some great, useful phrases to help you express your ideas clearly. Okay, great, so let's look at Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. Okay, so in this dialogue, we know his computer wasn't working. Right. So many students would probably say his computer was acting strangely. His computer isn't working properly. Exactly. And that's perfect and that's fine. Yeah, but there's a a really great way to say it that we heard in the dialogue. It's acting up again. It's acting up again. I love this phrase, it's acting up. Yeah, it It sounds really natural. It sounds really natural. Okay, we're ready to listen to our dialogue a third time, but this time... It'll be at the normal speed. Try and see if you can hear these key words. Oh great, the stupid computer froze again. It's the third time today. Hey Samuel, can you come take a look at my PC? It's acting up again. It must have a virus or something. Just give me a second, I'll be right up. I ran a virus scan on your computer and it turns out that you have a lot of infected files. But I'm quite careful when I'm browsing the internet. I have no idea how I could have picked up a virus. Well, you have to make sure their antivirus software is updated regularly. Yours wasn't up to date. That's probably what was causing your problems. Okay, anything else? Yeah, try not to kick or hit the computer. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So, Marco, I really think that my computer actually has a virus now. Really? How come? Because I have been turning on my computer, and then suddenly it turns off by itself. It Mm. shuts down by itself. Yeah, that sounds like a virus. But I ran a virus scan, and there was no problem. Mm, Well, maybe your antivirus software isn't up to date. 
Yeah, I guess I'd better call Samuel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can call Samuel to fix it. Yeah. All right, folks, we're out of time now, but be sure to go to our website at EnglishPod.com where you can leave all your questions and comments. So stay tuned for our next great lesson. And until next time, goodbye. Bye. Hello, English learners, and welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. How are you, Erica? Marco, I'm doing really well today. You excited? Uh huh. We've got a great lesson for everyone. Yes, we have a really common situation where we're going to use real English, right? Yep, everyday English, English that people really use. And that's what we want you to learn. What are we talking about today specifically? Today, we have a really common situation that is a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> All right, an embarrassing situation. So let's listen to the dialogue for the first time, and it's going to be kind of fast. Yeah, but don't worry if you don't understand everything, because after 10 minutes, you'll understand everything. Perfect. All right, let's listen. Nick, how's it going? Oh, hey. What are you doing in this neighborhood? Do you live around here? Actually, my office is right around the corner. It was great to meet you last week at the conference. I really enjoyed our conversation about foreign investment. Yeah, yeah, it was really interesting. You know, I'm in a bit of a hurry, but here's my card. We should definitely meet up again and continue our discussion. Sure, you still have my contact details, right? You know what? This is really embarrassing, but your name has just slipped my mind. Can you remind me? Sure. My name is Anna Ferris. Don't worry about it. It happens to me all the time. I'm terrible with names, too. <laughs> wow, Nick forgot her name. Yeah, that's happened to me a couple of times, and I'm going to tell you about it a little bit later. Okay. All right. Well, let's start with our three language takeaways. Language takeaway. So our first word on our language takeaway is in a bit of a hurry. 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 So Nick was in a hurry. Yeah, that's right. This is a great phrase. So let's listen to three examples of how you can use this phrase. Example one. Can you drive faster? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Example two. I can't talk right now. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Example three. I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I'll check these files later. Okay, so it's clear now. Basically, it means that you don't have time. You're moving really quickly. Okay, perfect. Now let's look at our second language takeaway word, and it's contact details. Contact details. Contact details. Contact details. So, what are your contact details? Basically, this is the information you can find on your business card. All right. So we have like our name, our telephone number, your email address, perhaps your mobile phone number. So all the useful information, so people can get in touch with you. Yep. So people can phone you or email you. Okay. So contact details. Great. Okay. So our third word is slipped my mind. Slipped my mind. Slipped my mind. Slipped my mind. So this is a funny phrase. It's kind of strange, right? Yeah. Slipped my mind. It sounds very weird. Exactly. Okay. So now we're going to listen to two examples of this phrase. Try and see if you can figure out what it means. Example one. I'm sorry, I forgot to respond to your email. It just slipped my mind. Example two. Don't you know what day it is today? Oh, it's your birthday! It completely slipped my mind. Ah, so slipped my mind is like. I forgot. You forgot something. Uh huh. So accidentally. Right. Okay. Great. Now it's time for putting it together. Putting it together. 
All right, Erica, why don't you tell our listeners what putting it together is? Well, putting it together helps you put language together. It helps you be more fluent by knowing how words fit together. Great. So let's look at our first phrase today. And it's around here. Around here. Around here. Around here. So this is like close by. Close right? by. Right. Yeah. I can say, for example, is there a bank around here? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's, is there a bank close to here? Exactly. Now, this phrase, around here, we can change it a little bit, mm -hmm. and it means something a little bit different. Right. I could say, Marco, there's a great restaurant right around the corner. Right, and that would mean there is a great restaurant on the other street. Yep. Around the corner. Yep. Great. Or we have another example. We can say, around there. Around there. Right. So, for example, I can say... Uh, Los Angeles is a great city. I used to live around there. So you used to live near Los Angeles. Exactly. All right. It's a really good phrase and it's really common. Yeah. Now our next phrase and putting it together is terrible with. Terrible with. Terrible with. Terrible with. So we have a couple of examples that will show you how this phrase works. Example one. You're terrible with numbers. You can't even remember your own telephone number. Example two. I'm terrible with directions. I'm always getting lost. Example three. I'm terrible with faces. I can never remember what people look like. Wow, I understand that. I'm also terrible with numbers. I can barely add two <laughs> plus two. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess uh, not everyone is a numbers person. Yeah. I'm terrible with uh, faces. I sometimes forget what people look like. Really? Yeah. Uh-oh. So I think it's time now for us to listen to our dialogue a second time. Okay, this time the dialogue will be a little bit slower. Right. So try and listen for some of the words we've just talked about. Nick, how's it going? Oh, hey. What are you doing in this neighborhood? Do you live around here? Actually, my office is right around the corner. It was great to meet you last week at the conference. I really enjoyed our conversation about foreign investment. Yeah, yeah, it was really interesting. You know, I'm in a bit of a hurry, but here's my card. We should definitely meet up again and continue our discussion. Sure. You still have my contact details, right? Don't worry about it. It happens to me all the time. I'm terrible with names, too. So it's more clear now. You can understand a lot better, right? Yeah, that's true. Great. So now it's time for us to take a look at Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. So with Fluency Builder, we take some very simple phrases and show you how you can be more fluent or how you can... Sound more native. Yeah. Great. In the beginning of the dialogue, Anna said, Nick, how's it going? Yeah, this is a great phrase. It sounds really, really natural. You know, sometimes I hear students say, how are you? Or how are you doing? Those are two great phrases, but this one sounds really, really natural. It just sounds more casual. Yeah, let's listen again to that phrase from the dialogue. How's it going? How's it going? Great, so next time that you find a friend on the street, you can just say, hey, how's it going? Yeah. So Marco, have you ever forgotten someone's name? Yeah, it's happened to me a couple of times, and actually... The most embarrassing situation was that I forgot a family member's no, name. No, yeah. a family member's name. We had like a family reunion and there were a lot of aunts and uncles and cousins that I hadn't seen in a while and I just forgot one of my uncle's names and I was... Uh-oh, uh, that's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, so was, what did you do? <laughs> well, I had to ask one of my uh, other cousins. I'm like, hey, who is that guy? He's like, oh, that's Uncle John. I'm like, oh man, I totally forgot. 
Yeah, so it was really embarrassing because I didn't know what to call him. So I just called him Uncle because I didn't know his name. <laughs> Hi, Uncle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So when that happens to me, when I'm in a business setting, sometimes mm -hmm. what I do is I ask for someone's card. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the good technique. Yeah, or sometimes I might ask them to write down their email. Because <laughs> usually their full name is spelled out in their email address. So that's my trick when I've forgotten someone's name. <laughs> that's a good trick. And I yeah. guess a lot of our listeners can take your advice on that. Okay, so I think it's time for us to listen to our dialogue one more time, this time at natural speed. Nick, how's it going? Oh, hey. What are you doing in this neighborhood? Do you live around here? Actually, my office is right around the corner. It was great to meet you last week at the conference. I really enjoyed our conversation about foreign investment. Yeah, yeah, it was really interesting. You know, I'm in a bit of a hurry, but here's my card. We should definitely meet up again and continue our discussion. Sure, you still have my contact details, right? You know what? This is really embarrassing, but your name has just slipped my mind. Can you remind me? Sure. My name is Anna Ferris. Don't worry about it. It happens to me all the time. I'm terrible with names, too. <laughs> Well, I hope that you've all enjoyed our lesson for today. And remember to check out our website at EnglishPod.com. Where you can find a lot of other resources and you can leave all your questions and comments. Yeah, Marco and I are always on the site, so we're happy to answer all of your questions. Exactly. So now it's time for us to say goodbye. Bye. English learners and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. Erica, today we are really excited, right? Yeah, we've got a great lesson today all about real English. Exactly. English that you hear in movies and TV shows. Yeah, speaking of movies, today's podcast takes place at the movies. Exactly. And that's why it's so fun today. Uh huh. Okay, great. So before we listen to our dialogue, let's take a look at our vocabulary preview. Vocabulary preview. In today's vocabulary preview, we have two words. And the first word is inconsiderate. 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 So, Erica, what is it when someone is inconsiderate? If someone's inconsiderate, they're not thinking about the feelings of other people. Right. So, for example, yesterday I was on the subway and it was full. Right. And an old lady was standing there and no one got up to give her their seat. That was pretty inconsiderate. Okay, great. So now let's take a look at our second word and it's keep it down. <laughs> keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. So why don't we listen to some examples on how we use keep it down so we can understand. Example one. Excuse me, do you mind keeping it down? It's after midnight. Okay, I'm sorry. Example two. I'm trying to study. Do you mind keeping it down? Example three. You mind keeping it down? I'm trying to watch the game. So that means be quiet. Yes, don't make so much noise. I used to hear this one all the time from my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all did when we were children. Yeah. Okay, so now let's listen to the dialogue for the first time. It's going to be kind of fast. But don't worry about it if you can't understand everything. By the end of today's lesson, you will understand this dialogue. Those people in front of us are making so much noise. It's so inconsiderate. Don't worry about it. It's not such a big deal. No, I can't hear a thing. Excuse me, can you keep it down? Sure, sorry about that. <sighs> so 
Someone's phone is ringing. Honey, I think it's your phone. Did you forget to switch it off? Oh no, you're right. That's so embarrassing. Do you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to watch a movie here. Well, I hate it when people's phones ring when I'm watching a movie. <laughs> I think everyone gets kind of uh, angry, but we're going to talk about this a little bit later. Why don't we take a look now at our language takeaway? Language takeaway. So the language takeaway is our most important words for today's lesson. And our first word today is not such a big deal. Not such a big deal. Not such a big deal. So when something is not a big deal, it's... Not a big problem. It's not important, right? Exactly. Okay, let's listen to some examples. Example one. I can't get these files to you by tomorrow. It's okay, it's not such a big deal. Example two. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'm going to be 10 minutes late for the meeting. It's not such a big deal. Peter and Liam are late too. Now let's look at our second word and it's switch it off. Switch it off. Switch it off. Switch it off. So this word means to turn it off. To turn something off. Now, we can use it in three different ways. Yeah, this one is a little bit complicated because it changes a little bit depending on how you use it. So, Marco, I think you've got some examples for us. Right, so for example, I can say, did you switch off your phone? Or you could say, did you switch your phone off? Right, or simply you can ask, did you switch it off? I think this one is a little bit hard. Let's look at a couple more examples. Okay, so I can say, for example, switch off the TV. Switch the TV off. Or switch it off. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more clear. Yeah. But you know what? We even had trouble with that one, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we had to do it a couple of times. Okay, now let's look at our last word, and it's can't hear a thing. Can't hear a thing. I can't hear a thing. Can't hear a thing. Okay, we have some examples for this phrase, so let's listen. Example one. What's going on in there? I don't know. I can't hear a thing. Example two. What? I'm sorry, this music is too loud. I can't hear a thing. So that's like saying, I can't hear. Exactly. I can't hear anything. It's too loud. Right. So now we are ready to listen to our dialogue a second time. It's going to be slower. This time listen for some of the key words we were explaining. Those people in front of us are making so much noise. It's so inconsiderate. Don't worry about it. It's not such a big deal. I can't hear a thing. Excuse me, can you keep it down? Sure. Sorry about that. Someone's phone is ringing. Honey, I think it's your phone. Did you forget to switch it off? Oh no, you're right. That's so embarrassing. Do you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to watch a movie here. Okay, great. Now with the dialogue slower, it's really understandable. Yeah, I think you could catch those keywords a lot better. Perfect. So now we are ready to look at putting it together. Putting it together. So in putting it together, we help you use a great phrase in different ways. And today's phrase is, do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Okay, so let's listen to some examples on how you can use this phrase in different situations. 